a video about an RF radio frequencies absorption meter. The schematic is extremely simple. Here we have an unknown coil with a capacitor here that bridges that coil, so it's a tank circuit. Here we have a microamperometer, a germanium diode and a small capacitor, or small, uh, not very small, but 470 nanofarad. The meter that you can use um, is between this range, 50 microampere and 500 microampere. You see that meter in real. Uh, on the scale here, I've drawn the um, capacitance between, say, 20 and 500 picofarad. And here is that uh, microamperometer. And in the inside, you can see the capacitor now in the middle of the screen from a 470 nanofarad and perhaps also that small germanium diode is visible. 1 N90 is a good uh, diode or a OA81. It has to be a typical germanium diode. Germanium de detection diode. Here you see how we can get this meter working. This is an oscillator here from my earlier videos and um, this is the waveform that's created at the moment. I don't know the exact frequency but we can study here um, whether this coil and that coil couple. So they can, this coil sends out energy and here the energy is received, uh, detected and uh, made visible. And it's also a good uh, approach to test the resonance from an oscillator coil. Here we have the meter and you can see here that now the microamperometer is on point 2 and I'm going to turn here uh, the capacitor and we can see that the energy uh, that's received in this coil here changes. Now the coils are on resonance here and on this moment. And when you have a frequency counter connected uh, you, to the test oscillator that was in my earlier videos, when you have a frequency counter connected you can clearly see that you can tune in this coil made in this way on a PVC rod to that frequency that you need and want. Uh, as a receiving frequency, receiver frequency in the antenna coil or uh, the frequency from an oscillator coil, VFO. So I tune in now with this coil and this capacitance value say uh, 270 picofarad you tune in to that uh, radio frequency. And it can be very helpful to find out all kinds of radio coils, both antenna coils and uh, oscillator coils. You can also see for instance that now that there's a energy conversion but when I turn the position there's no energy conversion at all. 
So these coils, though on the same frequency, don't couple properly. Only a very, very tiny amount is received in the uh, uh, antenna coil, that's this coil. You can see it here. So now it's very close. Some energy is received, but um, this is a far better way to couple coils. For instance, when I stick the coil here inside, you can see that the energy goes up very, very substantially. So it's even impossible to tune here to the frequency. There's so much energy coupled in into this coil. Here we have again small peak. So a useful instrument to do all kinds of measurements. Uh, compare coils, get coils into a certain frequency band, etc. etc.